Hey guys, Ken here, and we are going to be talking about refraction photography. So what's refraction? Refraction happens when light is passing from one matter to another, in this case, air and water. The light is coming in through the air, it goes into the water, and then it bends and curves because they're two different matters, and then they cross one another. And that's when you get this kind of stuff that, that you see happening in the water here. So you've all put a straw into a glass, for example, I'll use a pen, and seen this phenomenon happen before. The straw or pen sort of looks like it gets chopped in half and, and doesn't quite line up. That's because it's refracting. You can see it here. Same thing, same kind of principle. Now, if I move this pen back, there's more space between the object and the water. So more light will pass from the air to the water. So it looks like this. It's coming in from the other side. Pretty crazy. That's light refraction. And we're gonna use that principle for the next tutorial, which is going to be refraction photography using water droplets. So how do we do it? What do we need? Let's find out. So before you get started, you're gonna to have to do a few things. Gather some materials. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of plexiglass or ideally glass from a picture frame would do. You're gonna need some Rain-X or some kind of water repellent spray. You'll need some water, of course, uh, maybe a water sprayer as well, and an eyedropper. You'll need some paper towel or some chamois or something along those lines. You'll need a tablet, uh, some paper with some patterns on it or something like that. Maybe actual objects like a bowl of Skittles or jelly beans or something. And you'll need a stand of some kind because you're going to have to prop your plexiglass above your tablet. And ideally, you'll use a macro lens. For this one, I actually use the 18-55 to kit lens because I am teaching this for a class. And in the class, we only have those kit lenses. So the setup is really simple. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your glass is clean. So make sure that there's no fingerprints or anything like that. Just wipe it down with water and then spray it with Rain-X. Let the Rain-X dry and then wipe it down and then don't put your fingers all over the thing. You don't want that anymore, no oils. But what this is going to do is it's going to bead the water. Instead of your water kind of going everywhere, it's gonna make nice little round drops. Find a picture or something like that on your tablet. Uh, or you can use a piece of paper, something printed off, or you can use actual objects, and you're gonna put that under your plexiglass. Then you can spray with your spray bottle, or you can just use your eyedropper and put little dabs of water droplets all over the top of your glass. Spread them out, make them different sizes, but try to keep them round. If they're a weird shape or they're oval or something like that, they don't quite go round, they'll throw off the refraction a little bit, It'll still work, but it doesn't look as good. So if that happens, make sure your eyedropper is empty and then just put your eyedropper onto the glass and suck up that little bit of water and then redeposit it and it'll work fine. Once you're set up, you set up your lighting how you want it. I'm using natural light right now, so that works fine. And then all you have to do is set up your tripod, angle down so you're shooting as straight down onto your plate as you possibly can. And then you can just start snapping away. Before you start snapping away, there's a couple of things that are really important to remember though. One, use manual mode. Don't rely on any of your automatic settings. You should always be in manual mode. Two, don't rely on your autofocus. You're probably not going to get the focal point that you want. So it's really important to use your manual controls on all of your camera settings as often as you possibly can. Don't worry, because if you can see your stand, the edges of your tablet, all that kind of stuff, we're gonna fix it all in post-processing. And that brings us to our final point, edit your photos. It's not cheating. Some people say it is, some people say it's not. I say it's not. Fix them up, crop them, bring out your colors, crank up that contrast, bring down the contrast, whatever you need to do to finalize this photo and make it the best picture you possibly can. And I guarantee if you take your time, be patient and do it right, you're going to wind up with some shots that are really gonna be dynamic. So enjoy the process. Thanks for watching.